All right, Zach, moving on to another guy that uh, you work closely with, Michael Thomas. Um, mm -hmm. In the sports reference, man, a year and a half ago seems like an eternity, but yeah. this guy was eclipsing any NFL record about, you know, first to this many catches or that many catches or best three years start for a wide receiver just going crazy with the Saints. Hurts his ankle in the 2020 season and hasn't been back on the field. Um, hopefully, uh, he's going to be able, able to make it on the field and be uh, the, the same type player. But uh, just your thoughts about his situation. Yeah, I, th I think Mike Mike's the type of guy, he has a lot of pride. And so, you know, I, could he have played the second half of this past season? Probably. Um, he wouldn't have been at 100%, and I don't think he wanted to do that. He didn't want to risk re-injury. And he also, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, he just signed a massive contract, and he feels the pressure and need to perform up to that standard, right, that contract standard. And so I think I think he made a business decision to say, you know what, I'm not all the way healthy. Unfortunately, it's, it just it hasn't healed as fast as we wanted it to. And though I could play, I think I'm going to just sit the rest of this year out and come back stronger than ever. And I think the best thing about Mike is he he is a lot like going back to Michael Jordan, where he can create, you know, this me against the world mentality when it's not there. Like he, he just fabricates it in his own mind. And I promise you right now when he he's watching Cooper Cup and and Jamar Chase and these guys doing these great things, it's lighting a fire inside of him because he feels like any if any, if they talk about anyone as the best receiver ever, he's going to get pissed, right? The best receiver in the NFL, he's going to get angry because he feels like he is, and it'll it'll create a chip on his shoulder. So, I, it's it's a an interesting, I guess, situation, and and that's kind of my take on why he didn't play. But I, I also think, and I told Mike this when he got drafted and after his rookie year, that he got very lucky to be with Drew Brees. I mean, that is a fortunate situation. And that's not to take away from anything that he's done, but that's just, you're playing with a Hall of Famer right out the gate. And he's going to have to face the NFL without a Hall of Famer playing quarterback more, more than likely, right? And so I think that that's going to contribute to his numbers and his success this up upcoming year, even if he is healthy, as good as he is, as dominant as he could be, he's not going to have Drew Brees throwing him the pill. You know what I mean?